Hey everyone! Welcome to Ken's Creations Live from Spokane, Washington. Hola. So, for those of you who have never been part of a Ken's Creations Live, we do these Mondays and Wednesdays, and normally Wednesdays is kind of a wrap up and we chitty chat with each other. And today we actually are going to be doing comparison between the Cricut Bright Pad and the Caterpillar Glow. Everything I am talking about is down below in the description, all the links. That is also a way you can support this channel. We have shopping links down there with exclusive codes to Cricut, to Silhouette, and to Brutus Monroe, all three of those stores. The coupon codes are down below. If you shop there or use any of the links down below, we do get a small commission, and we thank you for that. I do. And we also love questions. We try to grab questions live. If you guys want us to test stuff on these, we try to grab that for you. Um, so definitely, and then if you're not watching this live, you're watching it later, definitely leave me a comment. We try to... Uh, to get to all the comments. Sometimes I don't respond to the comments just because a lot come in, but I do read every comment. Just want you guys to know that. So anyways, uh, today we, like I said, are going to be talking about two of these uh, new LED bright pads and everything. Um, hmm. And uh, kind of some tests and some stuff and, and things. Um, I'm going to be very upfront. It's not going to be something where I say you should do this, but more of this is what this is and this is what that is. Yes. Um, I saw a quick question about a bow, how to do a bow with uh, your hand. That is Gina K Designs or Stamps TV. She does a three finger bow. Brilliant. So check it out. Um, so once again, we will try to get uh, answers to questions and everything like that. We do have moderators in here. Um, so if any of the uh, bad comments come through, sometimes they will delete it. And sometimes comments do get deleted by mistake, so please don't take it personal. So with that said, we are going to dive right into it. Um, so as you can see here, we have the Caterpillar Glow here, and we have the Cricut Bright Pad. And this is the... One? Yes, so let me get that out um, right away. Um, so the Caterpillar Glow is a premium board. This one here is a premium board, so it's $119. And the main reason it is considered a premium board is it's pretty much exactly the same as the other one, the other board, except for it has a battery inside um, ex uh, that, so you don't have to have it plugged in. So if you were to get the regular Caterpillar Glow, uh, that's not the premium, it's $89.99. This one currently is sold out. I did go to the website today, it's sold out. Um, it does come with the self-healing cutting mat. Um, and uh, that's the price point on this one, $119. So I do want to, to let you guys know that this one here is the higher end, $120, because the only reason is because of this right here. Um, it has a five hour battery life that can be on. It's by itself, you can unplug it and everything. So this Caterpillar Glow, um, we measured it and the measurements it are. Is. So overall size is 19 and 5 eighths in length by 13 and 13 sixteenths tall and 13 sixteenths, or I'm sorry, 3 sixteenths inch Thick. Now for our Canadians and other uh, Europeans, 50 centimeters, 35 centimeters by 5 millimeters. Look at you yeah. making sure all of our our world is taken yeah. care of. So, and on top of that, the weight. Without the mat, it's 2 pounds, 6 ounces. Mm -hmm. with, the mat, with the mat, it's 3 pounds, 1 ounce. Okay. And this is a, this is a plastic mat. Um, they are going to be selling an accessory, which is um, a glass mat. It's coming out, I believe, later this month. And they are also going to be selling a see-through tracing board. Oh, cool. So that is coming out too soon. Um, also, uh, we forgot to mention that the actual working light. So that's this. Yes, this part here. Uh, Width-wise, it's 16 by uh, 16, 13, 16 inch or 42.9 centimeters by 12 and a quarter inches or 31 centimeters. All right, so that is quick measurements. Now, obviously you're going to notice the size difference. So the uh, Caterpillar Glow, if we were to look in this corner and put the Cricut in the corner, 
you have a, a, a definitely a sizable difference. Mm -hmm. um, the Cricut, let's give you the Cricut measurements. The Cricut, um, overall size, length is 13 and a half inches by 11 inches. That now, is, this is the total. The total overall yes. from edge to edge. That is 34 and a half centimeters by 28 centimeters. The thickness is 5 sixteenths of an inch or 8 millimeters. So it's slightly thicker, but not by much. Um, the light area or the workable light area is 11 and a half inches wide by 9 inches. That's 29.3 centimeters or 23 by 23 centimeters. What's the weight? The weight is one pound nine ounces. And that, of course, does not wow. have a mat, but it is considerably lighter, but because yeah. it is smaller. So, um, first impressions without, um, you know, basically going into too much. I will say the Cricut, I believe, is a little bit thicker because it has that 6H hardness lever. Now, I reached out to the owner of Caterpillar and asked what the lumens were and the hardness level of his uh uh, their glow board and I haven't heard back yet so I am still waiting to hear from them um, but I can tell you just by feeling you you can tell the hardness level here is much more durable than this um so I, I do I do want to say I think the thickness is due to that it could be yeah yeah um, the surface space absolutely it is bigger uh, I will say I've used both of these now at my couch this one is more comfortable to use if you're going to use this outside of a table. This one was almost um, on a table, great. So if I'm using it in my craft room, I'm using it here, I'm, I'm tracing, I'm doing whatever on my station here, absolutely, this is a very nice size. You can do 12 by 12 scrapbook pages. You could do a lot with this. However, if I'm gonna be using this at a couch or you know anywhere externally in out of my craft room, for me, this one was just more comfortable. I haven't found a reason to do anything larger than this outside of this. Now, if I'm doing a big vinyl project, maybe, but um, for me, this was more comfortable to have at a couch. A right. um, couple of things is uh, durability. So this here, because of its size, it's very easy to bend it's and a, stuff. It's a little thinner. It's a little thinner. Um, I'm, I'm interested in the harness level because it's... It definitely isn't a glass. It's more, I don't know what material, but I don't necessarily. It could be, it could be just a thinner style of glass. Yeah, a thinner style glass. This here, I will say on the Cricut, it doesn't bend. It, I mean, I would have to push pretty hard, and this is definitely more hard. I can just feel that, Sean. Tell me what you, your thoughts. Yeah, you can, I mean, you can literally feel that there is a difference between the two. Yeah, so I will say to, to, from just without getting the specifics from here, I would have to say that this just feels a little bit more durable, feels a little bit more sturdy. Um, not necessarily that this is unsturdy, it's just bigger. So obviously you have to say, if I, if I want this to be more sturdy, I'm going to have to add weight to this and we're going to have to add a bigger piece of glass. That's probably going to increase the price. We're looking at a, d a bunch of factors. Weight and everything. Yeah. Um, underneath, so let's flip them over here so you can see. I'm going to go ahead. Like yeah, go and unplug it. It's fine. So, on the back, the bright pad, or let's see. So, the glow pad has four. And they're not like really silicone y. Yeah, they're not. They're almost, more, they feel like foam. It's, it's almost like a foam pad. A foam pad. We're working on this type of mat here. We don't it's, see it, it's but it's, it's definitely. I would say it's nothing quite like what. The, Where the the bright this, pad definitely has silicone. Truly silicone. These truly are silicone, silicone three yeah. silicones. I do like the fact that there's one in the middle too. It's just gonna it's give you that much. Dipping down. Yeah. So for this here, um, yeah, th they do. They kind of feel like. I'd say that it's, it's a uh, probably a, a heavy duty foam. Yes, probably. Now, uh, many of you have already noted that it does come with the self healing cutting mat, so you're That's able great. to cut on this now. In my search today, I was able to go online on Amazon and find a Darice self-healing clear mat that would fit over this perfectly. I've given you the link down below. It takes you to Amazon. I believe, if I remember right, it's 9 by 12 and it see you can see through it, so you would be able to use that on this. Does it have a grid or anything? Or is it, it has a grid and okay. everything, so that would be a great alternative. A quick answer to a person, this has no battery. What was the question? 
Um, how long does the battery last? This has no battery. This must be plugged in. Well, and here, here, yeah. So this but. here, so this here needs to be plugged in where this one has a, a battery. Up to five now, hours, right? Th the the. You said this one. Yes, the Cutter Pillar Glow Premium has the external battery. If you got the premium, this gray one, if you have the one that's green, that is not the premium, that's the standard, it needs to be plugged in. The Cricut Bright Pad has to be plugged in to be used. However, we have this, which is the, um, anchor. it's called the uh, Anchor, and it has these dual things, and I can plug this in and power the Bright Pad. So you can also power it by using your, your laptop. Yep. So it is portable, um, this one, they each came with a six foot cord about, so yep. they each have an adapter. So really, um, you can, and Caterpillar Pro right now is going to be selling a power bank for theirs. Um, I'm sure Cricut is developing a power bank for theirs and other accessories to go with theirs. I don't know that officially, but it would just make sense, yep. but you can power it with this. And I charge my iPhone 6 Plus probably 10 times 10 least. times with this and barely have to charge this. Yeah. It's great. You turn it on. I've given you the link down below, but you turn it on. It gives you five or it tells you your little lights here to let you know it's on and you can then power it. So a, bit of, a battery that big will probably last pretty long time for something like this versus a smaller version. A lot of people do have those little portable batteries probably work but may not last as long yeah um another thing to note here uh so the cutter pillar glow has their power button here so it is a touch power where this is a definitely a button um, and we'll show this when we actually turn off the lights and show you everything this one here has a plus and minus button to go up and down in your settings where this does it you keep hitting the power button to cycle through the the settings the Glow has three light settings. The Cricut Bright Pad has five. Um, the two in, I did give you guys two links down there for the power banks, and the reason why is um, one has what they call a rapid charger, which is right here in the middle. That's more for iPhone. So if you're going to be using this to do multiple things, not just your Bright Pad, if you're going to use this also to charge phones, this one gives you this charger that charges your phone lightning fast. So that's the reason I did that. Um, so yes, this is big. Now for me, I personally like a button. They're they're lit, lit up, which you'll see once we go dark. Um, because you have you physically have to push this. This you could brush by it, which I did when I had this out on my couch using it. Many times I was hitting this, and it would change my lighting, you know, automatically. Where this, I I know you're not going to do that. You can. You have to give it some. You have to give it some some force there. Force push. Not force, but an actual. Mm, Correct. Mm, push. Um, I don't, like I said, have the lumens for this, but we are going to start at the lowest setting here and show you the brightness. And what I'm going to try to do, um, we will turn the camera a little bit. We'll be upside down, but I want to turn the camera so you guys can see the brightness levels. Once again, I want to clarify, this is the glow, has three settings, Cricut five settings. So uh, that's important to note. So let's turn off our lights. Where did you put... The lights are already off, so oh, look at that. there you go. <laughs> All right, a little daylight still miles through, but we have it as yeah. dark as we can get it. Dark as we can get it. So well, let's go ahead. Definitely see those lights lit up right down there. Um, this one you do not see that. Nope. So here is there's you see it being this is the power, a power. Thanks Joseph for that. Thank you Joe. For a super chat um this here is the the power light so their their power button you can see me turn it on there it does not light up so if you're in a dark room it's hard to see that power button um so this is just showing the reason i have it plugged in even though i don't have to on this one is i want it to be a true comparison even though it shouldn't change the lumens you never know and stuff so we are going to start um i'm going to make sure the cricket is at the lowest setting which it is so let's go ahead and turn on. You go ahead and turn on that one, Sean. I'll turn on this. Go. So this is each of them at their lowest setting. Okay. Here's my first thing when I see it. This they has, can see it. It's a blue yeah. tinge. This it's is a, a true blue, white. Which means this is at a higher, what we call, light is measured also in Kelvin, which is their color. This is more blue. So this is probably more towards a 5,000K, possibly even 55. Or this is still But this is white. different than lumens. Don't this confuse is, this that. This is not lumens. That's brightness. This one here is a little more on the 
I uh, prefer one, this. This is more probably like forty four thousand. But for what you're using this for, which is tracing or um, vinyl, I prefer this over this. Not saying this is bad because when I first got this, this was great. Yeah. It's just I prefer the bright white. So this one only has three settings. Remember, so we're gonna go up to the next setting. So this one is the second setting, and here's the second setting on the Cricut. So. It's definitely the Cricut's brighter at this point, no. at the second setting versus this. Um, so keep that in mind. Then we're going to go ahead and I have what you're looking for. Oh, Don't worry about okay. it. <laughs> it might shock you. I'm organized for these things, Sean. So then this is the next setting. So this is the highest setting that the, the glow can go. This is the third setting for this. So we have another two settings here. So this is at their highest settings. I don't, like I said, I don't know the lumens. I reached out to them. You can clearly see which one's brighter. I don't have to tell you. Um, once again, I prefer the bright white. Some people might not. It, the, this one is a little bit more blinding. So when you're looking at it, this one's definitely bright. This one's a little bit more muted. A little, a little more muted, but um, yeah. it's, it's bright. But... We're going to go ahead, turn these back uh, down to their lowest settings, and then what we're going to do is we are going to turn the camera so you can see the brightness on our face when we do this. All right. We're going to look a little... We're going to... We're going to be upside down, so... Sean will have the... Caterpillar glow on his face. I will have the Cricut bright pad on my face. Okay. So we're going to turn them a little bit to each corner. And so this is at the lowest setting. So I have the Cricut. Sean has the glow. So that's the lowest setting each of these can go. So let's go up the next setting. So this is the second setting for each of these. Are you at the highest setting now? No, I think I'm at set number two. I think you're at the highest. Go up one more. Okay, so that's the third setting. So this is the highest the Caterpillar Glow can go. I'm at the third setting for the bright pad, so I have two more settings. So here's setting four and five. So the, the bright pad is, I we can see it in the screen, it's considerably brighter. Yeah. Um, straight on, it's hard, I don't want to dilute it, but I mean, it's, it's pretty different. Yeah. Yours is a definitely a true bright white. This is a so let's show them that again. Go and turn yours off. A little blueness. Um, so let's go ahead and do one. I have to turn the the Cricut Bright Pad down. Okay. So this is one. So go to second level. Two. Three. So once again, that's as far as the glow will go. I have two more settings on the Bright Pad. Four and five. There you go. So let's go ahead and turn it back down and we'll go ahead and do our test on here. All right, so to make this fair, I'm all about fair. Um, yes, yeah, sure, we know we're upside down. Unfortunately, when you go live, the camera will not rotate when you're live. So we're gonna do these all, the first ones all at the lowest level for each of these. So I'm gonna be using this. So right there, you can always tell. You can definitely you can see tell. that blue tint. There's definitely has a blue, which I said, like I said, it's a higher Kelvin of light compared to the white. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's go ahead and put a normal piece of copy paper on there so you can see. So these are each of them, each of these lowest settings. So let's go and turn it up one setting. So that is the second setting for the glow, second setting for the uh, Cricut Bright Pad. Let's do the third setting. So this will be the highest the Caterpillar Glow can go versus the third setting. So we have two more settings for the Cricut Bright Pad. That's a huge and difference. The camera doesn't quite pick it up, but definitely by our eye, you can definitely see much more detail i wonder this if this is things. just me speaking i wonder if going with this blue tinge hurt it because know. it almost with this blue tinge to it, it it just mutes it to where if you're tracing i'm sure you guys can see uh, the the difference that we're seeing too but the the cricket it's bright so i'm i am saying if you're in a dark room and, and other people are watching a movie it's gonna light up that entire room but that's what 
you kind of want for a, a light pad. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the next one, which, uh, so we have this. Uh, this here is Bristol paper. So this is a hundred pound paper. And All right, so behind. let's go ahead and be fair. Let's go back down to the lowest. So this is the lowest. So we have the, this, this is just a, 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 a coloring page from Crayola. Um, so we're going to put this on here, which is a 100-pound Bristol Smooth you cardstock. Already, you can already tell by the lowest setting how the, this yeah. one's brighter. Yeah, so let's Great. go to the setting number two. Setting three, which is the highest. Once again, that the glow can go. We have two more settings. So this is equal as much as I can make it because you have the highest here, highest here. We have one more and the last one. That, <laughs> I mean, here's the deal. When I first got the glow, don't get me wrong. The glow, I loved it when I first got it. And I still, it's a nice, mm -hmm. it's a nice big, it's big. Um, it has the cutting mat. But when it comes right down to the nuts and bolts, what are you buying a, a, a uh, LED light board? Yeah. The Cricut definitely, they gave you more options for light. And I like that comment saying that she has the glow and she likes the blue because it's not so harsh. And it is true. The blue it is, is true. The blue is easier on the eyes. Absolutely. Bright, but that Depends white, on what white. you're using this for yeah, because exactly. this is harder on the eyes. It's bright. It's bright, and it's that bright white where this is a muted blue. It is going to be a little bit less. Right. Um, let's go ahead and turn these back to the low setting. This one is a 140-pound watercolor paper, um, and we're going to start at the lowest settings. So this is a 140-pound uh, watercolor paper that a lot of people were interested in seeing because they use this a lot. Um, and I will say the reason I like this and someone brought it up is I've already used this. I'm, I use a lot of Tim Holtz oxide inks and stuff. When you use this with the glows and the bright pad, you can see where your ink is going. You can see where it's blending. You can see, oh, I put a lot, I have a lot of sedation of ink over here or saturation of ink over here, not a lot over here. So it gives you that. So this is the lowest setting for each. We're going to go up a setting. So it's just, it, it's more defined. You can definitely see the definition. There's the top setting for each, for this is the top setting for the glow. So that it can't go up anymore, but we have two more settings on the bright pad. Nice. So, so this is just the settings so, and we're still gonna take a look at the looking through materials. Um, but if you're using this for, uh, working with a paper tracing that kind of stuff um yeah i it, i would say your your bright pad the cricut bright pad is where you'd want to go um once again there was that comment it is very very obvious the color difference here on the yeah. blue versus the bright the bright white so i mean you can see that with my hand versus over here the difference in how bright that is um Okay, so we're going to turn it back down to the lowest setting and turn it off. Do you think you could put down a piece of pattern card so I can see through it? It only depends on what's probably light colored or white. If it's got a dye, if it's got a colored dye in it, you probably won't get much through it. Yeah. So this is the lowest settings. Now, I know you're not going to see a lot on here because we didn't even with the bright pad. Um, you can clearly see it. Really, you can see it on both. Um, this is just regular vinyl. You can definitely see it. Uh, we have, let's get you, this is, you can really on the Cricut Bright Pad see it's a little hard on this the this glitter is... vinyl. You can see it on that. This is a uh, glitter iron-on. You can see it here. It's a little more muted. Yeah. I still see it. I think you see a little more detail in the, on the white. Yeah, I think so. You can so. see, you can see almost through. I know the uh, camera doesn't pick it up as well, unfortunately, because of the light. Yeah, I'm trying to get... If I turn this off, you might be able to see it. Yeah, you can just make out kind of that apple line. You can start to see it here. And then you have this, where on this one... I don't know, go up to the highest. Two. You can see it. Yeah, see it. So for tracing... Um, either or for weeding, I think either of these would work right. just fine. Um, 
Let's go ahead and turn it on, go to the lightest setting again. I'm gonna be using, once again, the Gentleman Crafter. If you, I gave you the links down below, it's a great site. I'll show it here for you. Um, I know you can't see it right now, but big, I'll big show big. it to you. But Gentleman, oh, good point, Deshaun. Yeah. The Gentleman Crafter has done a great job in giving us some handy guides for pattern stamping. Um, to use with these boards. Now, he has the glow board. This is what he's created all of it for. Um, I just take it and use it on this, but it gives you some pretty amazing ways to stamp. So let's go ahead and get... A grid with eight sections. So, and then we'll put this here. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's do the same thing we've been doing. Let's just go ahead and split it in half right down the middle. So... So this is, once again, lowest. So we're gonna go up a one. Up one. That's the highest, and then this is the highest for the Cricut. So if I'm using this to, to trace something or to stamp on, you can definitely see it on both. Let's go ahead. But you can see how much darker this got. Yeah, go to the low setting on that again. So, uh, if I'm using this for stamping, which I'm going to because it gives me nice grids, I can do something circular, uh, It's I think because of the white light, it's way more defined here. Mm -hmm. So second setting, third setting, fourth, and fifth. One other thing I will note, um, these, the keys on the Cricut, because they're actual buttons, Every time I hit them, they work. There's been a few times with the Caterpillar Glow, because it is a pressure-sensitive button, if you don't hit it just right, it doesn't like change. I, like, I'm just tapping it, and I tap it four times, and it finally went. But if I literally stick my finger on, on it. Yeah, and I'm surprised, to be honest, and, and it, it could be just something that they didn't think about. I'm surprised. Let's get this in the picture. So we're going to unplug this. Um... Now, if you notice, it did drop a little bit See? When, once you unplug it. So when you just... unplug it, you're going to lose a little bit of that brightness. Here, we can show that again for you. Let me bring it up to its highest setting. This is the cutter pillar. You need to plug that in. So this is without the cord, with the cord. So it definitely so goes it, up. It, 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 it does adjust your brightness. So take that out again so they can see that. Yep. Um, the one thing I guess I'm a little bit disappointed in is here is your button, and it's not illuminated. So for being in the dark, I would... I, I would think they would want to illuminate that um it's response is as long as you know where it's at and you tap it pretty good if you're just so whereas the cricket bright pad it's definitely it's lit up which is really in my opinion that's nice to have in a, in a, a dark room there's buttons i do like this because you can go up or down where the the glow you have to cycle through you can't go back down so you have to go through all three settings and then it will turn off so you're you can't just go up and down you have to cycle through it to get to your settings so i do like the fact that this one has a little bit more versatile versatile where i can go up down um so that's definitely something now i wanted to show you this is once again the cricket and I'm going to unplug it right now from my wall. So obviously I lost power. Here is that external device, which is right here. So I'm going to turn it on. You'll see my lights turn on with it. So now it's on. And Sean will hold this up here. As soon as I plug it in, so here it is. I plug it in. I get power. So. So for those of you who want a bright pad, but you want to be able to have it uh, cord free from the wall, you do have that option using something like this. Obviously, as soon as I turn it off, it well, you have to unplug it. will kill it. Yeah. So, so where this one, the the Caterpillar Glow, I I don't even have to have a cord per se because it will work without the cord. That's only the premium you're paying for. That's one hundred and twenty dollars. All right, the other thing I wanted to make note, um, let's do this. This is at their highest settings, once again. And where is, here it is. 
So, this is the Caterpillar self-healing cutting mat, but I just wanted to show you the difference in this white versus the blue. The, the muted colors, is it better on the eye? Absolutely. This is this is better on, on the eyes. Better on the this eyes. one is, it's bright. Um, even though at its lowest settings, let's go to the low, it's, you're just getting definition. With this bright white, you are getting 100% definition. Um, it, it definitely, yeah, it, it, it you know, I, I think you guys can see it's definitely, the Cricut has the brightness down, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, this one, obviously, we'll do this. This shows you the size of the lighted. So this being obviously the the glow or the caterpillar glow versus the Cricut bright pad. So you're seeing the def the different work areas. So it depends on really what you're going to use it for. What are you buying it for? All of that good jazz. For me, um, I'm going to be using this a lot. Let me stamp something here real quick. So I'm going to be using mine a lot to stamp and color. So you can see the difference here, you know, of uh, there's the stamp on a, this is a hundred pound card stock. So that's not on go to the highest. Oh, that was the highest. Yeah. So that's the highest plug it in just to make it fair because it is unplugged. So you will get a little bit of brightness there. So here it is on the Caterpillar glow. And to be fair, I'll put the Cricut on its third setting. There it is on the Cricut Bright Pad. So, and this is technically the Cricut can go up two more settings. So for me as a colorer, so if I'm gonna take this and let's say I'm gonna be using this to blend, I have my markers, you know, this is definitely gonna be easier to see So you can really see the saturation there of the blend. You can already see that, that purple coming to life. So for coloring for me, this is gonna be huge because this way I have a really good way of seeing that blend there. And really I see it. A little hard on the camera, but we can't see it. Yeah, um, let's do this one now, the Caterpillar Glow. Um, you can see it in person. You can see it. Uh, you know what? I mean, it really is when I have, just, when I have just a gutter pillar glow on, I'm like, wow, that's bright. That's a nice, it's a nice glow board. So I think obviously we're seeing a huge difference cause it's, it's next, you know, right to it. And it's just so much, it's bright and the whiteness of it compared to this blue color is a vast difference. It's a huge difference. So really, I think it does, it comes down to what are you gonna be using? If you're using it for just weeding, I bought this and I'm, I'm planning on using it to weed, weed, weed. Uh, which uh, vinyl had the best look at, uh, where you can see the weeding, the best, the best lines, but which one was that? What do you mean? When you put on the on your cut, which one actually, you can seriously see all the lines. Was it the light blue one or that one? No, no, no. One of them was like, like wow. Look at oh, that. this one. Oh, there you go, yeah. Yeah, no, so. Really... You can, I mean, it's Literally hard. You can see the definitions of it, though. Yeah, you can it's... see all the definitions and the lines there and stuff like that. This is on the bright pad, and that's on the highest setting. So let's get it on the third highest setting, which would be equal to the glow. Mm. So there it is. Um, Compared to... So, um, another thing I'll notice, I notice a little bit is, be real quiet, Sean, listen. Now listen to this. So for whatever reason, the Caterpillar Glow emits sound. I don't hear it. <laughs> of course, my hearing is not the best. 
Yeah. So there is a sound when you turn on. You don't hear that? Listen. You don't hear that humming sound? Mm. Interesting. I know some people are sensitive to high frequencies. Than yeah. Others, but yeah. But there is a little bit there. Um, so really, I'm going to say it's hard to tell what, what are you buying it for? The, this here, I, I'll show you, um, let's go and turn the lights back on since we went through all of that. Let our camera catch up there. So I'm just going to pick this up from the corner. I'm not concerned. One hand flipping around. This, because of the size, picking it up from one corner, this side automatically droops. Yeah, so means. you're nervous because you're like, oh, I don't want to bend that. Um, so I don't know if there's a way to show you this, but as soon as you pick it up with one side, because of the weight, it starts to, to droop. Where on the Cricut, you don't have that. If you have one hand, there's no, probably because of the size, I'm assuming, and oh, yeah. the hardness level. Yeah. Um, both, so the Caterpillar Glow does come with the self-healing mat on both sizes. So even on their standard one versus the uh, premium. This here for the premium, so premium, this is this, which is the self-healing cutting mat, the three lights, and the, the ability to use it cord free, 100% cord free for five hours is $119. This, which is the Cricut, which comes with this size, and it comes with the cord and an adapter. This is $79.99, and this one here does not come with a mat. I did give you a link down below. You can look for it. I'm using theirs, but it's a Doris that would fit over this that you would be able to. Now, with that said, I feel comfortable because the Cricut has a 6 H hardness level. I have no issue placing force because I know some people, when you're cutting, you're you're pressing, pressing down on this, and I don't feel that. And really, even on this one, I don't necessarily... I think just because it's, it's pretty... Yeah, they're both pretty standard. Um, so, you know, you definitely could use this. I know Cricut has said, you know, they don't recommend cutting on it. Well, they, this the Caterpillar Glow also says do not cut on ours without that self-healing cutting mat. They say, you know, do not cut directly on this. So really, you could buy this if you want that. What other questions do you guys have? Um, I'll say they both do the job. They both do the job. Uh, it's very different in the colors. I'm going to turn off the overhead lights just so that that glare is gone. Uh, so really it's going to come down if you like that lighter blue. It's, it is easier on the eyes. I will say that. Some people are light sensitive and if you are, this will probably be a little better. Yeah. So let's show you again here because I know this, these are light boards. Um, these are both plugged in because I just wanted to show you, um, so, Misfit uh, Tracing, if you're using this for tracing, without a doubt, I would probably go with the Bright Pad, just because it is, I need to plug both these back into the walls, just a sec here. Got in. Oh, sorry guys, I just knocked over the camera too. Oh, it is, I'm sorry, Sean. Apologize, my bad. Okay. So now that they're both put in, let's turn it on. This is the lowest setting for each. If you're using this for tracing, where did my color sheet go? Color sheet, color sheet, where are you? There you are. Here is on the lowest setting. So Miss Fit Crafter said, you know, if I'm using it for tracing, which one's better? Um, this is the lowest setting. And let's go ahead and put 140 pound cardstock over it. This is 140 pound uh, watercolor uh, cardstock. Lowest setting for each. This is setting number two for each. Setting number three for each. This is the highest the, the glow can go. And that's the highest the Cricut can go. So when I press this down, you can see for tracing. Now if I bring it over here, this is what I'm telling you guys. If I bring this over just to the Caterpillar Glow, it's not bad. You can see it. 
Same thing, if I go over to the Cricut, you can really see it there. So it's just more definition. That bright white just gives it that much more definition. Is this bad? Absolutely not. If we take that off and let it adjust, it's not bad. You can see it. Still does it. It does its job, but let's turn that one off. Rowena would like to see a patterned paper on this. Oh, a patterned paper? Um, while Sean's kind of playing with this, let me find one. All right. Let me find a lightweight and a heavyweight one. Sean, when I'm not there, I'm not talking, you need there to you talk go. to people. I'm sorry, there we go. Once again, <laughs> lowest setting on the Cricut and 140 pound water paper. Still quite, very neat. And we'll come back over here again. Low setting, it's a little harder to see. Highest setting, it is better. All right, so let's show them these. Okay. All right, so take those off. This is pretty lightweight pattern paper on the lowest setting and the lowest setting. And then of course, as we... Yes, Florida, they are a glass top, but they have different hardness. H6, but we're not sure on this one yet. So this is the highest for the glow. The Cricut has two more. I cannot stress this enough though. If we turn off the Cricut, we go over to the just the glow. Does it fine? Yeah, it does fine. Then let's just go back over to here. It's just, it's more brighter. I mean, I did. Brighter. so this is that. Uh, let's then put on, this is uh, glitter. So this is a uh, die cuts with a view. Uh, Glitter, it's not super thick, I'm gonna get another one. Um, but this is on the highest setting on the Cricut, all the way down to the lowest setting. And then the Caterpillar. So now you can definitely, I mean. You can't see through it. You can't see through that. It lights up only because there's light. Around it, but you can't see through it, you're right. There's two, and there's you can, three. On the third, even the third though, it's pretty light to see yeah. through it compared to. Compared to this. I mean, this, you can. I mean, you can see through through oh, that very yeah, easy. That. This is a die cuts with the view pattern paper. It's a trick or treat pattern. So we'll start over here. So not too bad. Not too bad. Two, three. But let's cover up the glowing from the side just so this is the highest it goes. So you can see it. Yep. And then this here. Go and turn that one off. The cricket. That's. The lowest setting, two, three, four, five. You can really see that. Yes, Renee, they are both LED, no heat. Yeah, this is turned backwards. So this is normally a, a uh, I wonder oh. what, that's interesting. Let's see what <laughs> that does. So yeah, you can't see that pattern because it's just such a dark yeah. pattern. Um, I do have, let's try this just out of fun giggles. This here is a piece of Cricut glitter cardstock, and on the highest setting, go ahead and cover that. Yeah, thank you, Sean. Um, you can see through it pretty good. So on this one, highest setting, you can you, you can really just see really see through it. It's just so if this. Yeah, it's once again, it's just. It's the brightness levels. It's is it the highest. That's the highest. Well, yeah. Right. Even at the third setting, um, it's the brightness levels. This because it's that bright white, you can really see through it versus the light blue. Um, what other things do you guys want us to try and do or anything like that? Yeah, give him a second. You're always. I know. Behind his hair. Fabric. 
Any little more of that fabric left? Right. Because one of the things they did talk about that these work really well for uh, people who do quilts, quilting. So um, this could be very well. I think we have fabric. We're gonna look real quick. I have. I have felt. Felt. Oh no, I don't. You have those um, things that we cut one time. Well, yeah, I might. I don't know. Looking, looking for fabric. Not sure. Give me un, un momento. Un momento, por favor. It's dark in here. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn on a little light for you. I don't have fabric. Hmm. Shirt. No, oh, that's right. Sorry, we can just use my shirt. Deb says she likes to emboss paper with it. What? what? Deb says she does something about embossing. I'm not sure if she's embossing with it with this or not. You know what I was thinking this would be good for too is my new chalk couture. If I actually showed this okay, with the Oh, you want me to take off my shirt? Yeah. Sean. Here you go. Alright, let's see. So shirt, low setting, glow, highest setting. That's the pocket. And of course, that's the pocket. Well, but let's be honest, Sean. Wait, wait, wait. wait. To be honest, if you're going to be cutting fabric on this, you're going to have a self-healing cutting that's mat. True. So why don't you do it through that? Because it's going to, you know, there is going to be a little bit of a difference there. Yeah. A little difference. All right. So turn that one off. Come over to the Cricut. Hi. Oh, bring this over. Because that would be a self-healing cutting mat. Definitely hmm. There is some brightness, much more brightness to it, that's for sure. I mean, you can really see the detail. It's hard on the camera, but we can see all that in there. All that detail. Here's just, I know someone was asking about all that pattern paper. We'll even do it through the... So let's do it on the glow first. So this is some of Cricut's new pattern paper. So this is the Mickey. So this is the highest setting. Both sides. So on theirs and that's the highest setting on on the, the the Cricut here's another version to look at this is flowers Anna Griffin's flower and this has a solid back which is really nice so it's not it you're not getting that uh, contamination of the other one so here um, to be fair this would be this the third setting on the bright pad because that's what we're looking at is, is the third setting. If we go over to the third setting here, go ahead and bring that over there. It's, and if we cover it up, it does help if we cover it up a little bit. So the difference being that versus the bright pad. Ooh, that's a good question. How what? easy is this stuff to clean up if you accidentally hit it with a Sharpie? So I've hit it with my, um, so on this, I've hit it with my, uh, both my, um, Spectrum Noirs and my, um, real brush. And I just took a baby wipe and it came right off. That's because you're alcohol. And yeah. So, I mean, I've actually took this and went like that on that and it, I'll let it dry a little bit. Um, and I mean, that's water based, so that one's going to be a lot easier, but they, it just went cleaned right off they don't emit heat neither of these get warm they don't produce heat off of it so you're not worried about you know it, it getting hot as you use it i've used both of them at my um couch for an hour plus time and they didn't get any hot which one's more comfortable absolutely the cricket for me was more comfortable using it while i'm sitting at a couch or in a chair because it's smaller it fits in my lap it's the size of basically um a laptop 15 inch laptop, I'd say mm -hmm. that size where this definitely feels like you have a cutting board in your lap just because it's bigger. Yep. So what other questions do you have? If not, we're going to bring the camera on to us. Did you flip it around? I'm about to. Okie dokie. Sorry guys. Get it off of that. There we go. 
What are you trying to do? I don't know what you're trying I'm to do. I'm trying to see where we are. Oh, that, I think that's right. Well, if not, we're going to be upside. We're upside down. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Sorry, normally we would edit that all out in video. You can do that in live. <laughs> in live, you can't do that. No. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, what, what which one would I buy? Um, Sean's going to fix our camera again. A little bit here. Sorry. Um, at the end of the day... If I was to buy one of these, I would probably buy the Cricut Bright Pad just because for me, I'm going to be utilizing this for um, coloring. I'm going to be utilizing it for weeding. I like the size of it. I thought I would like the Caterpillar Glow better because it's a larger size. I'm not cutting fabric though. If I'm cutting fabric, you might want the Caterpillar Glow because it is bigger. So for yeah. fabric wise, yeah, it, it really does come down to what are you going to be using it for? Um, Cost-wise, the base model of the Caterpillar uh, is Glow, it's eighty nine ninety nine, where the 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 uh, Cricut is seventy nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. um, but brightness setting for sure would be would be the the bright pad. What's your thoughts? What are your final thoughts, Sean? I definitely would have to say that again, personal preference. If you have if you have a bright if your eyes are affected by the brightness this blue really is much easier on the eyeballs if you really need to have some light that really needs to get going with some great detail the um cricket one is much better mm -hmm. with its you know five yeah. settings versus i three. i will say though for me utilizing both sitting so obviously i'm going to be doing a lot of coloring while i sit a lot of that stuff for me the the glow was almost almost too big mm -hmm. sitting the, the it was nicer i personally feel too the hardness level i can just feel the difference in the hardness level it, it sounds weird that you can't that you can do that but you can it's, do what feel it i mean it's just it it's just interesting yeah the the best way to describe it is you know on your ipad when you, you tap the screen you can feel the thickness of the glass that's what i feel like it is with the uh, mm -hmm the the bright pad right. where i don't feel that with the i think i'd be more afraid to set stuff on my caterpillar glow than i am my cricket yeah let's throw both <laughs> like a she did <laughs> <laughs> so anyways um that's my thing i wouldn't say one is i like both for di very different reasons if you're a sensitive light the glow is your way to go it's that muted blue if you, if you just like the size in itself yes there you go got a nice big one yeah um the cricket bright pad i like the brightness levels i am probably going to get that dury self healing cutting mat because i do like having a cutting mat that's one of the things when the cricut bright pad first came out the first thing that came to my mind is why is this not being released with a self healing cutting mat and i did i, I even actually reached out and told them why is this and they said our our intention of this was not to cut on our intention was to weed to trace and stuff like that so that's why i think they didn't release it where Caterpillar Glow, when they released theirs, they were saying, we're releasing this so you can cut on it, so you can do these things. That's why they're also releasing one that's with glass. So I think they were thinking of theirs more as a, a multitude of people can use this. Right. Sewers and quilters and stuff like that. However, will I be buying that Cricut or the Doris one mat for this? Absolutely, I'm going mm -hmm. to be because I do like the, the cutting mats. Well, Jennifer or the, has it. She wants both. <laughs> I like having both. I'm not going to lie. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. nice. Um, yeah, again, with the pens, depending, I, I mean, I, we never tested it with the Sharpie. But of course, as you know, Sharpies are pretty permanent, but it is glass. So it should come off pretty well. He's going to try it. A little dot in the corner. A little dot in the corner. We'll let it dry for just a moment. I'm doing it for you if it doesn't come off. You'd be quite upset. Yeah. How long should I let it dry for? It's fine. You can blow on it. Well, is it true that when you blow on a Sharpie, does it dry faster? You're making whatever the alcohols or whatever's in it evaporate. Yeah, I know. So see, that's Sharpie what I'm saying. Sharpies yeah. do clean up very well with alcohol, especially on glass. Oh, so it's... So you notice that you had to it, put a little... You have to put a little bit of... Yeah, it comes off. It came off little... easier on the bright pad. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's so, gone, gone, and this has got a still... Yeah, it came... So, the bright pad, it came completely off. The bright pad, or the... The glow... I think if you... I think now you finally got... There might be just some remnants. You have to use some... Yeah, it's still kind of there. It's right? still kind of there. Wow. Well, there you go. With the light on, you can't even see it, though. Yeah, but I can barely, barely see it. But, but it, it came right off on the cricket. Came off the cricket. And I think that's because the cricket's hardness level definitely makes it feel like it's a glass. Probably, not yeah. to say glass is porous, but... Yeah, your squeaky clean would definitely get it off, so... Oh, Joseph, I don't know if I'm brave enough to do that. Are the weeding tools? <laughs> Those are sharp weeding tools. Yeah, they are. I will say, both of them say, do not... Uh, the bright pad at this time does not have a carrying case, no. but the size of it, because it's the size of a standard laptop, I think you would be able to find carrying cases third party for the bright pad way mm -hmm. easier than you would for the Caterpillar oh, yeah. Glow because of the size. And this does come with it. You can buy a... No, you cannot. No, that's right. You cannot. Their, their cases they are they for their trimmers. For the, that's right, for the trimmer. Yeah. So you would probably be able to find a carrying case for the, the bright pad way easier because of the size. It's the size of a laptop. Really, I think it's almost about the size of an iPad Pro. Yeah, the new iPad Pro. Yeah, yeah. it's about that size. Maybe just a... So, yeah. Um, I do... I, I'm anticipating that each one will come out with their own accessories for it. Probably. Um, Caterpillar Glow, I am excited. They are coming out with... Uh, basically, think of a Martha, uh, Martha Stewart um, scoring... They're coming out with that. So it's going to be a translucent to where you can put it on your Caterpillar Glow and, and use a uh, the the scoring on it. So that's really nice. So you can line up paper and see it and score. Um, Cricut didn't tell me. I did ask what accessories. I was told accessories are coming, but no further information at this time. Hush, hush. So the Caterpillar Glow right now has announced that they are doing the glass mat and they're going to be doing the scoring um, mat on top of it, which is really cool. I really, really hope Cricut, with how bright this Cricut is, I hope they, they do things like a self-healing cutting mat because a lot of people are asking for that. I know it's not what that they, they designed it for. I get that. But a lot of people are asking for it. Um, I think a scoring tool on this would be absolutely amazing. Um, there's a lot of stuff this could be used for. So... You know, I I definitely think Cricut, as they see that, you know, they have a really good product here. Obviously, they knew that. But I think that maybe more accessories might come out for it. Yeah, very possible. Plus, it matches your machine, if you are. Um, both of them already do say, um, do not cut on it without a, a, a healing mat. So, they were very, very upfront about that. Oh, the Caterpillar Glow has light that illuminates out the side. Just a little bit, yeah, because it's clear. The edges are clear, so the LEDs that wrap around this thing do kind of emit a little. Yeah, bit. where the the cool. the cricket does not. Yeah. It, it doesn't have that. Um, someone just asked what cutting mat would work on the the cricket. The only one I found because you need to find a cutting mat that's number one would fit on it. So it needs to be about nine by twelve, but it also has to be clear. Most of the cutting mats on the market are a green color, a blue color. You can't see through it. They're gray. Um, the only one I could find right on Amazon was a Doris one. It's Doris 9x12. It is clear self-healing cutting mat. Um, it's not glass. I do believe it's a uh, silicone product. Uh, Caterpillar Glow is releasing their own version of that. That's why I hope Cricut does listen to people and, and look at doing a self-healing mm -hmm. light through cutting mat and a scoring tool, all those kind of things. So I definitely hope they listen to that because I think a lot of people would enjoy that for their brain yeah, pad. I think so. All, All right. right, well, before we, it's almost an hour, um, I just wanted to show you guys, I know a lot of people were asking, as soon as the Bright Pad was released, I probably got 15 private messages of people saying, hey, can you please compare this to the Caterpillar Glow? Um, and I will say for different people, they're going to be at different matches. Kind of like when people say, do you prefer the Cricut or the Silhouette? And my first question to them is, what are you going to use your machine for? Yep. Because that's going to determine what I answer. Same thing on these. If someone came to me and said, what do you recommend? I'm going to say, what are you using it for? Are you going to be cutting this, that? Are you cutting fabric? Are you cutting it for uh, quilting? If you're doing that, I might say the glow because you have a much more surface area. A yes. lot more surface area to cut stuff. And it comes with a pad right off yeah. the Yeah, so. but if you're using it for tracing and weeding and, and coloring and stuff like that, I, I tend to probably say the Cricut Bright Pad on that one. So. <laughs> or matching shirts. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. No. I promise.
This is what I wore to work today. It is just Ken gets off at 5. By the time I'm in the car, it's 5.15. By the time I'm walking the door, it's 5.30, and we go live at 6. So it's yeah. half so hour of craziness. Set up, do it, boom, boom, boom. Of course, you're wearing a shirt and tie. No, you yeah. don't wear a tie anymore. I don't wear a tie. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Down below, I have given you guys all the links. If you use those links, make sure um, use those links. It gives us a small commission. Thank don't you, forget, thank you, thank you. Cricket, I have a coupon. So KK15 gets you 15% off most items. Silhouette, I have one which is 10 off. Um, Brutus Monroe, I have one that is KK15. All of those are exclusive codes. Make sure to use those um, and get your discounts. If you guys like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. And we are trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We're falling behind. We're only at 66,000. So we have a ways to go. But please tell people to subscribe. Not share our videos. One guy with 16 million. I know. 16 Jeez, million. 16 That's so million. crazy. It's like yeah. half the world is watching the guy. Half the mm -hmm. Will the coupon work with this product? No, it won't. No, unfortunately, <laughs> it's, like, the, it's like getting it's like a, a machine. Can't so, yeah, the... The Cricut KK15 does not work on machines or the bright pad. Nope. It worked on the bright pad for about 15 minutes. Yep. <laughs> so some of the people did get it at a good deal, yeah. but if you weren't one of those people, you're not now. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, Charlie. And the Caterpillar Glow, um, I don't know. I'm not an affiliate for them, so the link that I give you just goes to I their shop. I don't know if they have one, but... Yeah. The guy was really nice, though, when we met him. He's very nice, very and nice hopefully guy. he... I did not know your code works on Brutus Monroe. Yeah. It does as it of does. Sunday. We did a yep. video for um, Chris Fallon of Brutus Monroe. Yep. He was fortunate enough to give me an exclusive code for KK15 Thank and it's 15% off uh, at his site and it doesn't expire. So if you're going to be buying Brutus Monroe, make sure to click that link so you get that. Use that code. Get 15% off so you can buy more products. Nice. That's what it's all about. Yes. That's why we use our codes. Yep. So, all right. and that's it. We're over an hour. Gotta go. <laughs> I'm sweating because I am talking so much, I think. Yeah, I don't okay. know. I gotta go make dinner. Yeah. Um, Julie, um, I did not do a comparison. I'm not buying the, I believe that's the Hurry On pad. Kyle, I didn't put the link in this one. I'll, I will add that. So uh, Kyle Daniels, he has Daniel Crafts. He did do a comparison of the Bright Pad versus the her, the $29 Hurry On, I think. I think it was the $29 one. Oh, yeah. um, so I'll link it in this video so you can see that. Um, go to his channel and check that out because he does do a comparison between those two for you. The $29 and that one. Kyle. Yeah. So I'll give you that link too. So mm. thanks guys for watching. I appreciate all of you. Goodbye. Bye. Drink your water.